In just a few days, people across the country will pause to remember those who were killed in the 9-11 terror attacks. It has been 18 years since four coordinated attacks were carried out across our country. This morning, Brightside reporter Madison Alworth, she is live at the Tampa Premium Outlets where a special memorial walk about to get underway in about an hour. And Madison, people will be sticking around after because there's a very special unveiling. What, what are they going to be seeing? Yeah, at 8.46 a.m. this morning, we're going to have that memorial unveiled, and it's the first 9-11 memorial in Pasco County. So all the runners and walkers are invited to attend, but there's also going to be some very special attendees in that audience. There's going to be friends and family members of these first responders here, all individuals who died during 9-11 or afterward from the effects of that attack. And it's been 18 years since the devastating and defining attacks of 9-11. This new memorial is going to be unveiled at 8.46 a.m. As I mentioned, that's the same time that the plane crashed into the North Twin Tower nearly 18 years ago. So to commemorate that defining day, the Rotary Club of Wesley Chapel Noon secured 25 feet of wall space in the food court here at the mall for this memorial. And I got to talk to the president of the Rotary Club who told me this is going to be a growing memorial with space to honor heroes of 9-11 and beyond. Children will ask, Mom, what's that? And they'll point out, hey, you know, it's um, a memorial for 9-11 victims, but it's also going to be a hero's wall. So the good thing is the Tampa, Tampa Premium Outlets has allowed us to use the wall, but we're going to start recognizing local heroes every year. So anybody who has, you know, some valor in the, in the community, who has done amazing things, And that's a growing definition, like we said, for hero, growing list of names like the list behind me here. This is the exact replica from the memorial in New York City. All of the names of both the first responders and the victims who died on that day 18 years ago. And so, like I said, this fun run is starting at 7.30 a.m. If you want to sign up and register, it's $10. And all of the proceeds from this event today are actually going to go to a very special scholarship fund for Pasco County students, anyone who's going to look to create a job or a future as a first responder. So really giving back to the exact same groups of people who made such a difference 18 years ago on 9-11. A wonderful tribute and a long time coming, no doubt. Rick and I just talking, it's one of those days you will always remember uh, where you were. All right, Madison Allworth live this morning. Thanks so much, Madison.